A good source of rags are important for just about any project. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to pick the right articles of clothing and how to cut up these rags really fast. A cotton sock that has way too many holes in it is a perfect candidate for a good rag. You could take your scissors and just start slowly hacking your way through the sock, but there's an easier way. If you cut the toe off and then you roll it into a ball, you just snip it and there it is. Now I'll show you how to make one of these hanging towels really fast. If you have the bottom of a pant leg, especially jeans, you just take the scissors and start snipping on the inside of the seam. You'll see why we wanna cut on the inside of the seam first, because when you have your rag, you don't want that harsh seam in your rag. So once you get it all torn to this seam, you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna make your cut again so you can start ripping it across. Now this piece is gonna be the hanging part of the rag. So we'll use the scissors to cut through the seam, start down, and this will give us a tear angle. Then just give it a rip completely off and you're done. Now you've got a hanging rag that you can put over a doorknob or wherever you would like. And don't worry about grease. When it's dirty, you just throw it away. And the other side, we're gonna go ahead and cut the seam out so we can get a nice cotton rag out of the other side. Just use your scissors to start and then just tear off the seams. And when we pull off these seams, these seams can actually be used for some things. Of course, we have the practical rag right here, and these seams are really strong. It's like really strong rope. This rag may be just a little too big, so we'll give it a little cut and tear it in half, and we'll have two smaller rags. You can use these denim cords for a lot of different things. Here's just a couple ideas. If you wanna tie back some curtains, you could take this cord and just wrap it around, and it gives a nice rustic look pretty attractive. You can get really creative with these cords. You could even tie up some dried flowers. And there's countless things you can do with elastic. Why buy elastic when you can get it for free? Old shirts and t-shirts, they make really good rags. To speed up the process, just roll the sleeve and just take your scissors and give it a cut. This is where a good sharp pair of scissors really comes in handy. Now you can just take a look around the garment and just look for a seam. And if you see a seam, give it a cut. There you go. Now it's starting to take shape. Now we're gonna take one of these sleeves and just roll it up because this is absolutely the fastest way to cut it. Now look for the seam and then you're gonna take your scissors and just kinda chew through it. Bang, there it is. So this fabric is really absorbent and they make incredible rags. There's really never a reason to go and buy rags when you can make your own. And this neck portion, you're gonna need to trim this out and it's just best to just poke your scissors in and just walk the scissors around. And if you get creative, you can even take this neck portion and do something with it. Just keep looking for seams and when you find them, give it a cut. These scissors are sharp, and they've been sharp for years. And the way you keep them sharp is you never cut anything except fabric. That's it. And the secret to not letting anybody else cut something else with them is you just hide the scissors. So just take your time, look for the seams, and basically dismantle the garment. A shirt makes an awful lot of rags. So when you get this cut, the piece of fabric is gonna be pretty big. So just keep whittling it down. Chop, chop. And I really like when you roll the rag rather than just cut it in straight pieces. A process like this shouldn't take you all day. You just wanna get it done you can feel that these rags are gonna be real nice and absorbent. I'll show you an example of something you might be able to use for this neck. I mean, it's nice and strong. 
And I'm not saying that you'd want to hang up your scissors, but if you needed to hang something up, it makes a real strong loop. So that's the basics of making really good rags. So when you're out working on the car or any other project, you've got something to work with. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please give the video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it and I'll see you next time.